All right, so in this video, I want to talk about five games that have been stuck in development hell, except for the second and the fifth game that I'm gonna mention in this video. These two games are a bit of an exception, and we are still a little bit unclear on some certain details about these games. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first game on the list is Beyond Good and Evil 2, which was first announced in 2008 which is what, 16 years ago, and then we first saw the first trailer in uh, 2018 at E3. I remember seeing the first trailer and I was blown away. I was really, really looking forward to this game, but we haven't really had any solid information on whether this game is going to release. All we know is that it's a prequel to the first game that first launched in 2003. And um, we've, we've had a bit of information trickling down every now and then, but at this pace, it's been way too long and Ubisoft should have really put out this game by now. So yeah, first game Beyond Good and Evil 2. Let's move on to the next game. Alright, so the second game is also a Ubisoft game and yes, you guessed it, it is Skull and Bones. Now this game has been delayed so many times. I'm not even sure if it's going to drop on November 8th as Ubisoft promised. And uh, actually it did have a, an open beta back in December 2023. I didn't try it out. I love the concept of the game and I think Ubisoft started developing this game because, um, because of the success of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. That was a great game and personally that was the last proper Assassin's Creed game that I played. So after the success of Black Flag, they figured they should make this into a standalone game. And since then, we have been getting delays after delays after delays. At this point, I'm not even sure if November 8th we'll be able to see this game. So yeah, let's move on to the third game. Okay, so at number three, it is Elder Scrolls 6, and I know most of you probably guessed that this game was gonna be on this list. We first saw this game in uh, 2018, A3 2018, nothing solid, no trailers, no proper information. All we saw was just some splash screen of the name, you know, just to put us at ease and let us know that Elder Scrolls 6 was coming. I think maybe Bethesda got carried away with the development of Starfield, which is also a great game. Uh, Elder Scrolls 5 is also doing, it's doing okay. The multiplayer of that game is doing really, really well. But I think most of us at this point are really just waiting for Elder Scrolls 6, especially because Starfield is really not what a lot of people were expecting. Most of us were expecting a Skyrim in space, and that is definitely not what we got. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the fourth game while we keep our fingers crossed for Elder Scrolls 6. Okay, so the fourth game I want to talk about is Star Citizen, which was first announced in 2012, but entered pre-production in 2010. Now, this one is a crowdfunded game. It's basically a space simulation game. And I think what keeps this game from dropping up to now is it's a very, it's a really ambitious game. And I think the budget of this game keeps just keeps getting bigger and bigger so we really do not have enough information about this game and um, I don't know I'm I'm not the biggest fan of space games but I had to mention this game because I've been keeping my eye on it for quite a while now but hey let's uh let's just keep our fingers crossed while we move on to the fifth game all right so the fifth game I want to talk about is a game called Agent now this game was being developed by Rockstar it was first announced in 2007 and since then, we haven't really seen any solid information. The trademark was renewed in uh, 2012 and then again in 2017, but then it was officially abandoned in 2018. Now, we're only talking about this game because it's a Rockstar developed game and you know Rockstar makes bangers after bangers. And I know they've been extremely busy with GTA 6, but it's a big company. I mean, it's a big studio. So if they wanted to make this game, they're gonna make this game. So we are definitely gonna keep our fingers crossed because the concept of the game alone sounds interesting enough. I don't know, maybe it's just me that is nostalgic about games like Splinter Cell. And, uh, oh, did I mention the game is a stealth game? Hence me mentioning Splinter Cell in the same sentence. So it is probably just something that uh, most of us were looking forward to. If you've been following Rockstar very closely, then you know that you would have heard at least about this game. Uh, so yeah, these are the five games that have been stuck in development here that I wanted to talk about. My last video was what, five games that are coming in 2024 that you must play. Be sure to check that video out. I'll link it in the description below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.